In this demonstration, you will learn how to retrieve static private IP address information for your network interface. You will run PowerShell commands to view the static private IP address information for the virtual machine. You will also remove the static private IP address that we added to the virtual machine. So you will be learning few PowerShell commands to manage the network interface. So here's my virtual machine called web server. It has an IP address of 10.20.30.4. It also has a public IP address. Now, if I would like to get information about this VM, then well, you can just go to the graphical user interface or just spin up your PowerShell ISC and run few commands to get this information. It's always recommended that you use PowerShell to get that information because it's just about scripting it once and you keep the script ready so that you can run it time and again when you need the information like getting an IP address. I have the PowerShell ISC here and let's go ahead and run few commands so the command to get a network interface information will be get hyphen az network interface and then i'll just do a tab completion to see if it automatically completes and it does now let's assume that we got a lot of virtual machines in production environment you will have more than one and that also means that you will have lots of network interfaces so if I just run this command, it should retrieve all the network interfaces that are there in my subscription. So if I run this, I should get list of all the network cards that I have. There you go. So we got the information about the IP addresses, the virtual machine to which it is assigned to, whether it is assigned to a load balancer or an application gateway, whether it's static or dynamic, well, you have all that information. I can pipe it to retrieve just the names of the network card. And when you run that, you will not get all this information. And then you will get just the names of the network card, which will be looking pretty decent on the screen instead of looking, you know, all garbage information. Probably that's something that you don't want to see. Well, yeah, with this, you just see the names and not all the information or the metadata of the network card. Now the network card in which we are interested in is web server 826 because this is the network card that is attached to my machine. Now if I flip back to the graphical user interface and go to the networking section of my web server, I'll see that the network interface is web server 826. It has a private IP address of 10.20.30.4 and also has a public IP address of 13.82.103.143. In your case, it may be different. Now, let's try to retrieve this information using PowerShell. So I'll go back to PowerShell ISC and point my PowerShell script to Web Server 826. That means that I will use specific syntaxes like name equals Web Server 826. And then I also say that it is in a resource group name called, I think it is IT tech, yeah, tech IT department. Just copy that and paste it. Now if I run it, it will not give me information about all the network cards in my subscription. It will give me information only about web server 826. So let's run it to see what is the metadata of the network interface called web server 826. So this is what I have. I'll scroll up to the top to start from the beginning. The name is Web Server 826 in a resource group called as Tech IT Department. It is in a provisioning state called Succeeded. Let's scroll down further to see other attributes of our interest. Okay, so the private IP address is 1020. Oops. Okay, scrolling up to the top again. Okay, the private IP address is 1020.30.4. Yes, it has a dynamic allocation method used. And then is it assigned to a virtual machine or a network card? It's not assigned to a load balancer for sure because this value is empty. It is using an IPv4. It is not assigned to an application gateway, so the value is empty. Right, so I'm able to get all this information about the network card called Web Server 826. Now, how do we get just the IP address of this machine? Because there's a lot of metadata inside this and I only want to see the IP address. 
So what I'm going to do is put the information inside a variable. So I'll call it as dollar link equals get hyphen da 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 whatever. So when I execute this, I will have the output of this command stored inside dollar nick variable. So if I just type dollar nick here, I will get the same output as you see in the screen. Yeah. Now you can use dollar nick and see what are the variables stored inside the dollar nick variable. To see that, I will use a dot and then it will automatically populate all the attributes that are stored inside dollar nick. You should look for the information that you are interested in. For example, IP configurations. So I'll select that and then execute just this part to see what happens. Now I've got specific information. So I will I will flip it. I will flip the screen to keep a side by side interface so that I can see things in a better view. So dollar nick dot IP configuration has this information. The specific information that I am looking for is the private address field, which is 10.20.30.4. So I can put a dot here, which is configuration dot private IP address, and then you will get this output. Let's see how that goes. So I will copy this, and then make enough space for myself here, and then say dot. Okay, so we got some attributes. I'll just copy this and paste there and see what happens. Now let's execute line two. What do we have? See this output 10.30.4. 10. Sorry, 10.20.30.4 is the private IP address of this device. Now let's say you also want to know whether it is statically allocated or dynamically allocated. What is the attribute? The attribute is private IP address allocation method, which is dynamic. Now, if you want to get that information, well, you know what to do. Well, just copy this part and paste it. And then the information that you are looking for is this. Well, I'm just jumping around. Okay, private IP address method is this. So copy and paste it here. I'll put as, I'll flip the screen like this so that you can see it better. So dollar nick dot IP configurations dot private IP address is giving me the IP address but dot private IP allocation method is giving me whether it's dynamic or static as you see you really do not have to memorize anything it's all right here in PowerShell now if I execute line 2 and 3 it will give me the IP address as an output and dynamic also as an output right you can also frame it in a better way by putting these inside a variable again and say dollar IP address equals that and dollar allocation method equals that right so now just run all of that and the IP address will be stored inside this variable the allocation method dynamic or static is stored inside this variable so now you can write that dollar information equals what the IP address of the device is what the IP address of the device is dollar IP address okay now I just have to put an concatenation which is a plus right here right and then and the I have to put a concatenation plus here again. All right, and the allocation, oops, typo. Allocation method is what? Dollar all method. Okay, move to the right a little bit. Uh, put a colon so it looks better on the output. Plus dollar all method, right? So this is all hard coded in the output. I'll execute this line number five to see how it looks. All right, there you go. So now if I just say dollar, oops, dollar info, okay, and now execute the whole thing, you'll get the output as the IP address of the device is whatever the IP is, and the allocation method is whatever method it is, dynamic or static. 
So as you see on the screen, we got the output like this, the IP address of the device is 1020.4 and the allocation method is dynamic. Well, you can be as much creative as possible. You can send it out as an export to a CSV, update into a database, whatever you want to do. But this is the skeleton of writing a small script. Let's go ahead and remove the IP address or deallocate it from the machine. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to the network card. I want to change this dynamic allocation to static allocation. As you see in the output, the allocation method is dynamic. Let's go ahead and change this to static. So what I'm going to do is go to this particular part here, which is line number three. Okay. And copy this and take it to line number four. And then I say that dollarnic.ipconfigurations.private IP allocation method is equals to well dynamic okay so I'm enforcing this and saying that instead of well it's already dynamic so it's not dynamic it's static right so this is what I want to change it to so dollar nick dot IP configurations dot private IP allocation method is static and then I will set it to the network card to do so I will say set hyphen AZ network interface okay that picked up with auto tab completion set hyphen AZ network interface hyphen with the name network interface which is dollar nick so I've got all the dollar nick information inside the dollar nick variable right because the dollar nick is a variable that has all the information about network card called web server 826 so if I say set hyphen AZ network interface with this information okay let's go ahead and execute this and see what happens okay so i'll just execute line number four and five and then once it is done i will run line number seven yeah okay let's run line number four and five there you go as you see there's one small change that i made here i added an array so by adding this little thing here, I just mean to say that if the virtual machine has multiple network cards, then just look at the first one. Don't look at the other network cards because there's only one network card that I want to modify. So the first one starts with zero. The second one starts with one. The third one will start with two, right? So yeah, so this execution is completed and the address allocation must now be changed to static there you go private IP address allocation method is static okay so let's try to get certain information again just like this the IP address of this device is 10004 or whatever and the allocation method is this time it must be static okay so let's do that again dollar all method equals that and this time I will comment line number four and line number five because I don't want to set anything I want to get the information so let the script go and get the information about my virtual network card and then get the IP address IP allocation method put this in a variable called dollar info and show it up on the screen right let's run that all the way from line number one through line number nine so this time the output must be a little bit different. The only difference is that dollar all method is not dynamic but static at this time because we have used a little commandlet called set hyphen AZ network interface to edit the properties of the network interface. Well, script is running, it will take some time, but feel free to modify this script in your test environment. You can go ahead and take it and run it as it is but also see how you can export it to a CSV file, export it to a text file. Administrators also dump this information into a CMDB constantly to update the database. Well, there you go. We got some information. The IP address is 1020.30.4 and the allocation method is static, right? So earlier we got dynamic, but now this time we got static. So in this video, we learned how you can retrieve the information from Azure, specifically the network card information. We saw how you can see all the network cards, polling a particular network card, retrieving the IP address attribute, IP allocation method attribute, and not just retrieving, but also editing the attributes of the network card.